Hey guys, this is Rob with EPS. Today we're going to show you how to get a better 40 time by your stance and your start. And we're going to go through a few key points on how to line up, how to take off, proper body angle, and where to place your feet, breathing techniques, a few key points just to help you out. Maybe cut a tenth, two tenths off your 40 time. The first thing you're going to want to do before you do any timed event is make sure you warm up thoroughly. So you can use any warm ups that you have from your other sports or coaching, or you can just Google or search another YouTube video for proper warm ups. So make sure you warm up thoroughly, get your core body temperature up, which will help you perform better. A nice little sweat going on before you do any timed event. The first thing about 40 stance is determine which foot to put forward. So usually if you're right handed, you're going to put your left foot forward and your right foot back and go in a stance about like this. If you're left handed, your right foot forward and your left hand down, you've just got to find out which one's comfortable for you. Most people put the left foot forward, but just first figure out which, which foot you put forward and we'll go from there. The next thing we're going to talk about is where to place your foot alignment and coordination with the line. What we want to do here is we want to turn the 40 yard dash into a 39 and a half yard dash. So we want to get as far over the line as we can. Because in a 40, about this much space represents a tenth of a second. So if we can get our body and we can get over the line, because there's no penalty for being having your body over the line, we want to do that so we can get this much closer and automatically cut a tenth off of our 40 time. So what we want to do is we want to have our foot six to nine inches from the line. I try to get as close to the line as possible. What you'll have to do here is play with this stance and figure out what's the most comfortable for you. Taller athletes are going to have to move back farther. Shorter athletes can move closer to the line, but we want to get as close as possible to the line so we can turn this into a 39 and a half yard dash. The next thing is where to put your back foot. My back foot is my right leg, so what I do is you put your back foot directly behind touching your heel, toe to heel, and then you're going to take it out hip width. It's key to keep your feet under your hips so all the power of your legs when you push off goes straight ahead. Now that you have your feet properly aligned to go for your 40 yard dash, we're going to talk about how to get down in your stance. But first, make sure that your knees, toes, hips, chest, everything's pointing straight ahead so you can run a straight line and get all the power that you're going to push off with in your stance straight ahead. So the first thing to do is we're going to get up on our toes and we're going to creep out as far as we can over the line. The reason why we do this is because we want to mimic this as much as possible in our stance so we can actually have our body over the line. The next thing to do is creep back a few, put your hand behind the line, and we're gonna try to hold this body lean position that we're in when we take off. The reason we do this is because it automatically gives us weight forward so we can shoot out. And again, it turns it into a 39, 39 and a half yard dash instead of a 40. So what you do here, put this back, take this off right here, hold, and then go. Most combine places make you hold two seconds. So you're gonna have to play with that and practice holding it just a little bit. And after, once you've got this down, we're going to talk about where to place your arm. The next thing we're going to talk about after you've got your stance, so you know we're going to get down in here, you come back like this, and you put your arm back, a lot of athletes like to put it up here to try to get thrust forward, okay? We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to keep it in a 90 degree angle, put it on our butt. The reason we do this is because in most combines, the guy at the 40 yard dash way, 40 yards down there, is timing off your first movement. So if you have your hand up here like this, going like this, when he sees that down, he starts the time. So we want to kind of fool him, maybe gain an extra tenth of a second by concealing our hand right here in our pocket and shooting out low. Because if you put this up here, usually this moves before you even take your first step. So he's already started and you haven't even started running. So right here, 90 degree angle, lock your arm, Put your hand on your hip and shoot out. Now that you've got your stance, we're going to talk about the proper body angle to take out of your 40 yard dash stance. So after you get down in here, what we want to make sure is that your shins have the most forward angle possible. We don't want our butt high up in the air like this and our legs locked. Remember, we want to be over the line as far as possible with our shin angle 
out. We want to shoot out of our stance like an airplane. We don't want to rise up, okay? Most people like to put their butt high up and then on their go, they first shoot down and then they shoot out. That, again, the guy at the end starts the time when you first move. So your time's already started and then you're going. So we're automatically <coughs> gonna get down on our stance. So it's one step, one movement, straight down. The next key point is to, <coughs> when you're down in your stance, put your head down. Look down at the ground, okay? Because this, when you do this, It'll help keep your body down so that you stay low for the first 10 yards. We want to be low for the first 10 yards of our 40, keeping our head down, and then we want to gradually rise up after that. So 15 yards, 20 yards, you're standing straight up, running, running perfect form. On your 40 yard dash, the first 10 yards is the most important. So this is where we want to be the quickest out of. So your first step is very important. In the last segment, I told you to keep your head down and look at the ground. So what you're going to want to do is when you're down, you're going to want to look at where your first step is, okay? You're going to want to look there. So that'll keep you down and get the biggest first step possible. We want to cover the first 10 yards in as few steps as we can so that we can cover more ground in a shorter time with less steps and in result be faster. The next 40 tip I have for you is the last one is the balsamic breathing technique. So when you go down in your stance, you come like this. Right before you take this hand off to get here, it, you've got to take a deep breath. So it's going to be And then you take your hand off, you're still holding your breath, and you hold that breath for the first 10 yards. It's scientifically proven to raise your nervous system, make it more aware, and actually make you faster in your first 10 yards. So again, we come down like this, get our good stance, we walk it back, boom, shoot out. And remember, in your stance, you should be leaning so far over the line that you can barely hold it for two seconds. That's the body weight we want to have forward. We want to use it to our advantage, so we want to have body weight forward, use that to our advantage. A good low angle coming out, keep our head down, pocket our arms so we don't shoot it out, and give them a sign to go off of, and then do the breathing technique. Make sure your stance is as close to the line as possible, and again, just over the line, practice this stance, play with it, find where it's comfortable for you, and this will definitely help take two tenths off your 40 time. To learn more about the products and drills used in this video, visit www.trainingwitheps.com. Our products help you train smarter. It's up to you to train harder.